Hey guys, I'm here in Southern California for the reveal of lots of new Toyota vehicles and lots of driving impressions of the Crown Signia, the Tacoma TRD, as well as the Limited, the iForce Max engines. I got something pretty special for you guys. I have every single trim level of the Camry, the new redesigned Camry lined up for you for 2025. I'm gonna break down all the differences between each grade. Let's get into it. <laughs> We got this new Ocean Gem color here. This is the XLE model. Up on the front, we have the upgraded LED headlights, two beams, as well as the daytime running lights that kind of come around with that hammerhead design. Coming down below, we have a sparkly gray silver finish to the grille at the bottom. Now, you also get 18 inch wheels here, and these are kind of a two-tone glossy black uh, as well as machine finish wheel. You also have 360 camera on this. This is going to give you pretty neat interior too. We have Dynamica for the first time ever, which is this nice suede or microfiber interior. You have it on the dash with that nice print. Um, I really love this color. And then look at this beautiful sunroof that we have, uh, panoramic roof. A digital uh, instrument cluster here, 12 inch screen behind the steering wheel, 12 inch screen here. Heated and ventilated seats. I could keep going, but what's really impressive here we'll, as we go down the line is that the, even the standard equipment is quite accommodating. As we move to the XSE, we still have those same fancy headlights that we had on the XLE. So the two beams, as well as the full LED daytime running lights here. Now check this glossy functional piece here to allow air to go around. We also have parking sensors here on the front. That's something I, I forgot to mention on the XLE. Uh, but look, this is a paint match grill here. So it's, it looks, it really like kind of just monochromes the whole front out of the vehicle. Let me know if you like the XSE's paint match grill or the standard SE's black matte grill. I think the black matte grill looks really nice when it is um, contrasting with some paint colors. I think this is the reservoir blue, if I remember correctly, but it looks really nice, the contrast here. Uh, I think I might prefer the SE. Let me know if you would prefer the XSE paint match. It depends probably on the color. If this is a darker color, the paint match might look a little bit more premium because it has a nice shimmer and shine to it. But also the side here gives us canards on this SE, and then this is not glossy like it is over here on the XSE. Now, these uh, wheels, more glossy here on the SE, and these have a little bit more of a machine finish face to it. Let me know which one you prefer. I actually like the black ones here on the SE a little bit more. All right, 360 camera here on the XSE. We got that panel roof. This is one of two colors you can get on the inside of the XSE. This is the full red interior. Check this out. Of course, you're gonna have heated and ventilated seats. The same equipment essentially that we had in the XLE. So I'm not gonna go too much over it. You also have driver attention monitor and uh, traffic jam assist, 360 camera, all that stuff, as well as some nice uh, aluminum pedals here. I love this perforated side uh, garnish here on the door too, some red stitching. Now let's get into um, the X, S, sorry, the SE here, but I wanna go to the back because this is where it really separates again. This has a paint match spoiler and the spoiler here on the XSE is black, which uh, does a really good job accenting that panoramic roof. And the XSE, you can get a two-tone color. So you see like this black uh, top of the roof that really matches that panoramic roof. And then of course it matches the, the deck lid spoiler. And coming back, the XSE and the SE have dual tip exhaust. Now, another nice garnish here for the XSE compared to the SE or even the LE is that we have kind of this paint finish down here at the bottom of the, the bumper. It looks really, really premium, really nice. We have a glossy black finish over there on the XLE. The base models have kind of a, I'd say a lesser premium, just matte out. There's no paint there at the bottom of the finish of the very rear of these bumper, but it still looks good in my opinion. It still looks classy. Again, dual tip here on the SE. Now, every single one of these Camrys is hybrid. Um, the XLE and the LE here have all wheel drive, but you can still get all wheel drive on the SE and XSE. The all wheel drive will add seven more horsepower to get you to 232 horsepower. These, uh, uh, the front wheel drive models will have 225 horsepower. They're all get you at least 44 miles per gallon. If I remember right, all the way up to 51. Uh, that's like worst case scenario because these things are sleek, efficient. And if you live in a flat area, 
in a mild climate, you could get 60 miles per gallon. But wait, wait for my review when I get one of these back home. I cannot wait to see what kind of ridiculous fuel economy. I got 46 on a Sienna with kids in it. So this being the fifth gen hybrid system, we might be able to squeak out a little bit more not only performance here, but also a little bit more fuel economy. All right, I have not shown you the inside of the SE or the LE, so let's go ahead and do that. These interiors, hey, hey look at this. This is not a cloth interior. So the SE uh, here, unlike the X, unlike the LE, as we'll see in a little bit, this has cloth up top here, but we have a synthetic leather here. Now this is not perforated, so it could get a little bit sticky. You're not gonna have ventilation either. So if you live in a hot climate, your back might be sweating and sticking to this a little bit. Look at this nice white stitching here on the steering wheel. This has the optional 12 inch screen here on uh, the SE model. The base, the base I don't think has that. If I look here, look, UP, uh, is the multimedia upgrade package, which gives us a 12.3 inch screen. Uh, and that is only a $735 upgrade. The base eight inch screen still looks fine as well. So don't be scared of that. I love this cloth, uh, these parallel lines kind of running at an angle down there on the dash. It looks pretty nice overall. And this still has the, the base uh, eight, a seven inch MID back here, but I actually like it better than the 12 inch. Nice aluminum pedals here, and then beautiful continuation of this pattern here on the dash here on the door. Um, soft touch materials here as well. And the back seats look pretty nice too. All right, so let's get into the other base model here. This is maybe comes in at a hair uh, less expensive as a base SE. Now the new Camry hybrid comes in at about $400 less believe it or not, than the outgoing Camry. And it's better in every way, better power, optional all-wheel drive, better technology, better safety, et cetera. So these have some cute 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels. The previous model had some steely wheels with hubcaps. I just drove this model, so watch my full review or, uh, on it and driving impressions. Nice, nice uh, cloth seats here, very comfortable. They have a nice pattern to them. Breathe really well compared to what you're gonna have on the SE. You might be sticking to those on the SE, but yeah, soft touch materials here as well. This has this here's the base screen, the seven inch screen, sorry, eight inch screen here. This is a seven inch screen inside of here. Uh, eight inch screen inside of here. Uh, Apple CarPlay Android Auto still works beautifully on it, wired or wirelessly, and it is just uh, an awesome package. Now, this has the optional sunroof, uh, so this is not a completely base model. To give you an idea, after some options here, it is 32,000 after destination. This also has a convenient package with auto dimming rear view mirror. It also has smart key system. So when you walk up to the doors, put your hand on the door with the key on your pocket, it will open up. You also uh, push button start. Um, and it also gives you eight way power adjustable front seats because on the SE, I believe, as well as this model, the base seats don't have power seats uh, up front. They are manual adjustable. Uh, this has a cold weather package, heated seats as well as heated steering wheel. And you also have the optional power tilt and slide moonroof for a grand total of 32,455 absolute home run for, well, this has all wheel drive. So 232 horsepower, all wheel drive, 50 miles per gallon, an absolute steal in my opinion. As I look it down at the lineup, let me know which trim level you think Visually looks the best. Here's an XLE in white. That looks pretty darn good as well. And then we have an XSE in uh, blue down there as well. What a beautiful lineup of Camrys, four trim levels, all wheel drive or front wheel drive, all hybrid, all incredible efficiency, great looks, great functionality. Long live the Toyota sedan. Catch you in the next one.